All right, so yesterday, y'all did two-step equations. Today, we're new two-step inequalities. And solving inequalities is actually uh, very, very similar to solving inequalities, or saying equations and solving inequalities are very similar. There's just one rule different, and I'll show you when we solve this one problem. So we have 10 minus 0.75p is less than or equal to 7. So I still draw my line. But this time I draw down my line down the inequality sign. So I look at the left side. So I get rid of the 10. That's a positive 10. I'm, not, I'm going to ignore the subtraction sign. It's a positive 10, so I subtract 10 from both sides. So now, since I cancel this out, that subtraction now becomes a negative. So it's a negative 0.75p is less than or equal to 7 minus 10 is negative 3. So now you're going to divide negative 0.75 to both sides. So P comes down, negative 0.75 divided into negative 3 is a positive 4. So now this is the only thing different between solving equations and inequalities, is when you divide both sides by a negative, means you divide both the left and the right side by a negative, or if you multiply both sides by a negative number, your inequality sign will switch. So now it switches to a greater than or equal to. And that's your answer. Whoops, I cut that off. Okay, that's the only thing different. So I want you to try one. So you have a word problem here. It says Joshua wants to complete the first mile of a five mile run in 10 minutes or less. Running at a steady pace, the inequality is five minus P over six is less than or equal to four can be used to find P. So that's your inequality, and I want you to solve that. So you have 5 minus P over 6 is less than or equal to 4. So I want you to pause the video and solve this, please. All right, so you drop down. Uh, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. This cancels out. That subtraction becomes a negative. I'm actually going to drop it down to my number because I don't like my letters to be negative. And so that'd be still less than or equal to. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 6. That's P. My sign in the middle will switch, because I just multiply both sides by a negative. Negative 1 times negative 6 is a positive 6. And the answer will be B. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to determine if values are true. So at gas and wash gasoline, gasoline sells for $4 a gallon and car wash costs 12 bucks. Uh, he wants to have her car wash and keep her total purchase under $6, $60. The inequality 4G plus 12 is less than 60. Can we use to find G? Determine which, if any, of these values, valuables are very values, excuse me guys, values is the solution. So we have the inequality 4G plus 12 is less than 80. So we have the values of G equals 10, G equals 11, and G equals 12. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna determine which values are true. So the way you do that is you actually just plug it into the inequality. Okay, so the first one I'm going to plug in is 10. So I'm going to rewrite this. So you're going to say 4 times 10 plus 12 is less than 80. So now you just solve it. So 4 times 10 is 40 plus 12 is uh, 52. So now you ask yourself, is 52 less than 80, and I don't know why I write 80. That's supposed to be a 60, guys. Sorry. Just make that a 60. Luckily, it's still true. So 52 is less than 60, so you would write true. I'll put a check next to it. Okay, so let's try this again. This time, hopefully, with the right number. So you have 4G plus 12 is less than 60. So now you're gonna plug in 11. So you're gonna do four 
times 11 plus 12. 4 times 11 is 44 plus 12. Sorry, guys, my pen's messing up. So 44 plus 12 is 56. Come on, Wi-Fi, let's work. So is 56 less than 60? Yes, that's true as well. All right, let's try it one more time. So now you plug in the 12, so you're gonna do four times 12 plus 12 is less than 60. So four times 12 is 48. 48 plus 12 is 60. Well, we got the same numbers, but the problem is this is not true. 60 is not less than 60. So this is a not true statement. So that's false. So the only values are true in this case is 10 and 11, any given values. So when you actually solve it, it would be G has to be less than 12. Hey, right, so I want you to try one. I want you to do uh, number four and five. And the way that you do it is um, you plug them in. So you do three times nine minus eight is greater than 22. So it'd be 27 minus eight greater than 22. 27 minus eight is actually 19. So is 19 greater than 22? Nope. So try it again. So now you're going to do 3 times 10 minus 8 is greater than 22. So you have 30 minus 8 is greater than 22. So this one's going to be 22 is greater than 22, which again is false. So most likely 11 will be true, but let's just check it in case. So now you're going to do 3 times 11 minus 8 is greater than 22. So 33 minus 8 is greater than 22. So that's going to be 25 is greater than 22, which is true. All right, and you all can go do number 5. Um, that's it. That's, there's not much difference between solving equations versus inequalities. Thank you, guys.